Hi, this is Stacy from The Advisor, and today I'm very excited because we have a very special guest today. This is Donald Kubelka, and he is an amazing entrepreneur. He is a publisher. He is a producer, author, and he is just your all-around entrepreneur, and he has a great story to tell, and he has some great things that he's doing that he'd like to share with you about podcasting, and many other things. So Donald, why don't you take it away? Tell everybody a little about yourself and what you do. Sure. I'm, a, as you said, I'm an author, I'm a programmer, I'm a publisher, I'm an entrepreneur. I like to help people turn their dreams into reality, mm -hmm. to take their ideas and make them real. And one question that I have for everybody, have you ever wished that you, you could just print your own money? whenever you wanted and just have it instantly accepted and be able to, use, you know, be able to spend it on whatever you want. You can even put your picture on it if you want, <laughs> you know, instead of dead presidents or whatever, you, you know, you put your own, put your own picture. You ever wished you, you could do that? <laughs> well, I'm here to tell you that you can, that you already do and that people do every day. Businesses do this every day is totally legal is totally legitimate. And I broke it down into three sheets of paper and a text message. So if you can if you can write up three sheets of paper and a text message, this system can work for you. And so you know you you wonder because you may be sitting there as you know a parent and you got more bills at the end of the month than you got month, and or you got money to cover them, or you may be a business owner trying to figure out how you're going to meet how you're going to meet payroll this month or some other big looming bills. You may be. Uh, you know, an influencer or a podcaster, and you're trying to figure out, well, how can I monetize this audience better? Well, what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about how you can monetize anything you want with three sheets of paper and a text message. And actually, Stacy didn't realize it, but she already did that to me. And she monetized what she was doing with three sheets of paper and a text message. Mm -hmm. Now, you may be wondering, what are those three sheets of paper? And they're simple, and I'll tell you, it's it's nothing complicated. You've seen them every day. You use them all the time, and you don't even realize it. So the first sheet of paper is you're going to want to tell your story, and you're going to tell a story about a problem that you solved. So in Stacy's case, stacy has got this great podcast that she gets people on that have already solved problems, and gives them an audience, gives them a platform to tell their solution to. And so you can sum all that up in one sheet of paper. Now, we're not talking War and Peace. We're not talking the Harry Potter series or anything like that. Just take a simple idea, write down what the problem was, what the solution was, and what difference it made in your life. And then give your solution a name. And if you do that, one sheet of paper, you got something simple. Now, later, you can take that sheet of paper and you can expand it into all kinds of other things. Have you ever noticed you can take, you know, you take the same information that's in a, that is on your piece of paper, expand it out, and you got a podcast. Document that, transcribe it, edit it. You got yourself a booklet. Expand that a bit more. You might have a book or a series. Turn that book into a course. Turn that course into a membership site, into a mastermind. Turn that into merchandising, turn that into, you know, advertising slots and sponsorships and live events and all kinds of different things. And you can take that same information, reformat it, repackage it, sell it to a different audience or different price points, or even maybe the same audience at different price points. And these are all spinoff products and these are spinoff ideas and byproducts of the same idea, but it all starts from one sheet of paper. One idea, one sheet of paper. And you can grow a, a big business out of that, starting with that one sheet of paper. Now, sheet two is where it gets even more interesting. Because sheet two, you take that one sheet of paper, or you take that, that solution that you have, and now you document it as a special certificate. Now, you can think of this as a gift certificate. You can think of this as a, a certification for some somebody else to do what you're doing but the idea or you know other kinds of documents other kinds of cert cert certificates but it's basically going to be a certificate and that certificate is going to be a promise from you to help somebody with that solution 
So uh, an easy way to think about this is a gift certificate. You've seen them, you've used them. You get a gift certificate and it says this gift certificate, the gift certificate is good for one, whatever it is. And then you take that in and you turn that in and you get the whatever it is that you get. And you're not really looking for the piece of paper or the certificate yourself. You're looking for, and you're not really interested in the product, what you're really interested in is the solution again. But that certificate, that piece of paper is what you use to get to that solution. So whether that, that certificate is, as we said, a gift certificate, whether it's a silver certificate, like a US you know, Federal Reserve note, whether that's a receipt, whether that's an invoice, whether that's a uh, you know, stock certificate or bond certificate or a trustee, these are all different forms of certif certificates, notes, if you will, again, one sheet of paper that as you go and you trade those certificates with other people, they become money. Mm -hmm. So if you think about that for just a moment, you're using money every day, whether it's Federal Reserve notes that are issued by the government or whether it's gift certificates or whether it's coupons or whether it's frequent flyer miles if you're going on a trip somewhere or whether it's credit. You know, most people don't realize, they don't think about the fact that most of these forms of money, and they really are forms of money because you can use them to buy whatever you want. Most of these forms of money are issued by private companies or private individuals. They don't have to be issued by the government. Mm -hmm. Now, you're not gonna take your frequent flyer miles or your gift certificates and go pay your taxes with them. So they're not legal tender. Right. You're not paying all debts public and private, but you can pay some of your debts. You can negotiate to trade your gift certificate with somebody else's gift certificate, then redeem those gift certificates and, and get the stuff that you want. That's perfectly legal. That's done every day. Like I said, you may be doing it yourself and not even realizing it. If you're working for someone else, those certificates you, you're dealing with are time cards. Every time you turn in a time card, what do they give you in exchange? They give you a check. Mm -hmm. That check itself is a certificate. That check says, if you look at the check, it says, take that piece of paper and you deposit it at the bank. And the bank talks to the other bank and then it credits you with that money in your account. And then you can go in and, and say, I want to withdraw some of these other certificates that we call Federal Reserve notes. So if you ever wanted to print your own money, that's it. Print up your own certificates. Print up your own gift certificates. Now I said three sheets of paper and a text message. Yes? Yes. So the, the first sheet we looked at was you're going to print up a sheet about your story, solving a particular problem. Second sheet is the certificate promising to help somebody with that problem. Third sheet is you're gonna keep a ledger. You're gonna write down contact information for all the different certificates you traded and who you traded them with. So that way, if someone comes to redeem it, you have it on your piece of paper there. You have that ledger, you can go through the ledger. Yes, this is a legitimate certificate. Somebody didn't just go copy off a hundred of them and pass them out. Right. You can make your own serial numbers. You can make your own, just like they do with uh, you know, gift certificates or other stuff, you keep a ledger of who you met, who you sent it to. Now you can make it redeemable by bearer, but again, mark off the serial numbers. That way you know how much you've got out there and you know what you traded them for. And you know what the current, current value is for them. So that third sheet of paper is the ledger and you got your, and you're also building that contact list that you can follow up with other sheets of paper. Mm -hmm. So you can, you can do this, this same system over and over and over again. Right. Every time you do another podcast, every time you do another, you know, you come up with another product or another offer or solution to another problem, or you want to take it to a different uh, group of people, a different marketplace, right? You can, you can create the same three sheets, three sheets of paper system. Just create, tell a new story. Right. Tell a continuation of the story. Tell the story in a different format. Tell it to a different group of people. One sheet of paper, tell your story. Second sheet of paper, make the certificate. This is good for help on one, whatever the problem is. Right. One solution. 
You're going to help people so, you know, solve their problem. And it doesn't matter what you call that sheet of paper, but it's basically a certificate that you're going to trade for either other certificates or goods and services you want or sell it for cash. Right. Third sheet of paper that you're going to keep track. That's, that's the ledger. You're going to keep track of who you sent those other certificates out to. And when someone turns in one of those certificates, when they redeem it, what are you going to do? You're going to tell them the rest of your story. Right. You're going to get with them and you're going to say, what's the problem? Go into details about the problem. Take those problems and then turn them into, uh, you know, solutions. Here's my solution. Right. Now, whether you present that solution as here's my piece of paper or here's the book or here's the course or here's the consulting contract or here's the, you know, however you want to do that, that's what you agree. You know, that's what when they go to redeem that certificate, that's what you come to the agreement with them on how you're going to deliver that. Right. But again, it's those three sheets of paper. And then what's the text message? The text message could be a text message. It could be a podcast like this. It could be an advertisement, but it's simply an invitation telling people, hey, you got this problem, you want a solution, come check out the certificate. Come check out what we have to offer over here. That's it. Simply an invitation, come check it out. So for this podcast, Yes, I created my own three sheets of paper. <laughs> <laughs> and you can join because the easy part is creating those sheets of paper. The tricky part, as I'm sure you probably already guessed, is, okay, I got my certificates. Now, who am I going to trade them with? Who am right. I going to send that text message to or that message, that invitation out to? How am I going to get people to, to sign up? And is this really worth it or anything like that? Well. I'm going to make that easy for you because I'm putting together a network of people that are specifically interested in swapping script. In other words, swapping these certificates. Script is just a fancy way of saying privately issued currency. Right. And that's what this really is. This is just currency because each of these certificates you're creating is, is money, literally mm -hmm. money. So when people right. say money doesn't grow on trees, well, where do you think the paper comes from? comes from the trees and tell that to any orchard farmer and right. they're going to tell you, yes, money grows on trees. <laughs> I pick <laughs> the apples, I pick the fruit. That's money for me. Right. right. And then, you know, people say, well, what about gold and silver? Well, when you go to trade gold, are you trading the gold bullion? Are you trading the coin? Are you trading the, the mining certificates? Are you trading special drawing rights? Are you trading? I mean, there's lots of different ways to trade gold. There's lots of different certificates you can make for the quote gold that you have right, or that you're trying to trade. So even if you're trading gold or other kinds of, of money, if you're trading cryptocurrency, okay, it's electronic, but it's still basically one sheet of paper, a certificate right, that entitles you to X amount of Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever kind of cryptocurrency you have. The credit cards, you ever think about who issues those? Mm -hmm. Who decides how much credit you have? Is that the government telling you? Well, maybe if you're in China, <laughs> but if you're not in one of those countries, if you're here with the United States or somewhere else, private banks decide how much credit you get. And right. what is it? You're carrying around a plastic certificate. Yeah. That you're swapping with somebody. <laughs> and do you think they have a ledger that they're keeping track of all the transactions? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And they have a story behind that credit card when they give it to you. Right. Same thing with checks. When you write out the check, you're writing pay to the order of, and here's the bank, and here's the, it's a certificate. Right. When you write out your time card, you're filling out a certificate. I certify that I worked so many hours, or I worked so much time, or I produced so many results. And such a result. So I'm entitled to you giving me these other certificates. Right. That's what it is. So where do you get this network? You can try going to your friends and family and, and people that you already know, and that's great. And the problem, though, is that they usually value you as a person, but not really as a profession. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus said a prophet's not known in his own country. And I can tell you that it's very painful to put together a lot of hard work and, and put together your certificates 
and try to get other people close to you to value them. Because a lot of times they're not going to value them because they know you too well. Mm -hmm. Or they think because of their relationship with you, they need a discount or they need stuff for free or they want all this other special treatment. So that's not what you want. You don't want to go to friends and family because that just hurts. That's just painful when they mock you for the for the hard work that you put in. Right. What you want is you want to be around a bunch of individuals that have that same goal that are going to empower you. They're going to say, hey, we got the certificates too. We want to trade them. Whether it's cash certificates or whether it's they've got their own products, services, offers, problems, solutions that they got that they want to trade you. They want to trade because they know that if, and they not only do they want to trade, but they want to help you make your offer as good as it possibly can be. Because the better your offer is, when they trade with you, now they've got something of value that they can either go trade with somebody. They, they may have the problem that, that you've solved. So they may want to turn around and redeem that certificate themselves. Right. Or more likely, they may not have the problem that you've solved, but if they can make you, if they can help you get your offer down as, and get it to be as good as possible so that it's as valuable as possible, really helps people solve their problems and then certify that on the piece of paper. Now they trade their piece of paper that they've done the same thing, make theirs as good as possible. They trade that with you. They may now have somebody else that they know of that has that problem. They can go trade that your certificate to them. Mm -hmm. So by trading, swapping these, you just increased your network. You just increased your marketplace for your certificates with people who actually want them and who actually value them and appreciate them and want to make that value keep going up rather than just, you know, discount or give it to me free. And they're trading you something of value that they've created in exchange. Right. You know, with Stacy here, she's created this whole audience of millions of people that she's trading her platform and allowing people to come on and, and share like I'm doing right now with you. So Stacy's doing the same thing. She's trading something of value. So she wants to make sure she's given her people, her audience, something of value. And that's what I want to do. I want to make sure I'm giving you something of value. You can take what I've just told you right now, those three sheets of paper, that idea, jot them down. You can tell your story. It's not that hard. Mm -hmm. How you solved the problem, what the problem was, give it a name. You can make up a certificate about it. Again, it's not that hard. Mm -hmm. This is good for one solution to that problem. However you want to format that. You can make up a ledger, contact information, and here's how many certificates I traded and what I traded them for. Not that hard. Right. Not that hard to make up a message to say, hey, I got you, I got the solution to this problem. If you want it, come check it out. Right? Not that hard. Again, and it's not that hard if you want to join with me and my network that I'm putting together of people that this is what we're doing. We're creating these solutions, creating these certificates, swapping them amongst each other so that we can create the markets and create the money and create the things that we need. And it's a win-win, it's, it's not a win lose. If you win, if you create your money and you trade it with somebody else or you trade it with me or anybody in my network, you don't lose by creating that. Right. Nobody in my network loses when, we, when you create that or when we trade with you. When we give you valuable stuff in exchange, our certificates in exchange, you're not losing. You're gaining. And the nice thing about this system is it doesn't have to be one of those trade time for money deals either. Mm -hmm. Because like we said earlier, you can package your story in any number of ways, whether that's writing a book, whether that's doing a podcast, whether that's doing the work once and then replicating it or having other people replicate it and put it out there, whether that's creating a company and then trading the stock certificates we're taking your company public. And again, these are all ways of the same three sheets. When you look around now, you're going to see those same three sheets showing up everywhere. You right. might not see the third one as much because that, you know, that ledger is going to be behind the scene. Right. 
but you're going to see the text message and those ads everywhere those invitations everywhere you're going to see the you're going to see the certificates everywhere you look now invoices receipts agreements estimates quotes gift certificates gift cards these are all privately issued currencies that companies are putting out there and trading you're going to see stories that people have created in different formats books movies tv play podcast and what are they doing they're selling you either an experience or a solution to a problem right and sometimes both and then they repackage it and then they mm -hmm. add that same logo or same design or same name or whatever and they put it on a t-shirt they put it on other merchandise you'll see that everywhere right why because people want that feeling they want that solution they want to be part of you know make that part of their identity of this is who i am right this is the problem i've solved or this is the experience that i've had and i want to share so you can do the same thing and monetize anything you want package it as experience package it as a as a as a problem that you've solved right mm -hmm. and join a network like mine we help you upscale those certificates those offers and then trade them so you have an instant market. Right. We solve that hard problem for you. As well as you get to make lots of friends, you get to make, you know, have have you know lots of other benefits that come your way because lots of lots of those good certificates. So that's what we're doing. And if you want to join the network, just text me a message. Text your name. Put script swap on there. So I know what we're talking about and send it to 970-587-8636. That's 970-587-8636. And there'll be a link in the description with that as well. And if you text me that, I will send you the application. You can join the network and be trading money that you created, you printed anytime you want. And again, you can go from you know, hey, here's a simple one shot to all the way up to when you're trading, you know, publicly traded stocks. It's the same three page system. Any questions? Yeah, I have one question. Now, tell us so the audience realizes why your company is unique, why it's not just like any marketing tool out there, you know, to enhance growth and to motivate you to want to purchase something and you know bypass the the product and go from the pain points to the solution what is different about your business that makes it so effective and so great that people should really focus on your company and your strategies okay the biggest difference is that we're going to be focused on again trading those certificates right helping you create those certificates and trading those certificates because it all boils down to those certificates. You know, when you look at the everybody else out there, they're telling you how you know how to do the marketing and they're creating ad campaigns. Well, those ad campaigns, they're the text message I just mentioned. They're the invitation. But what do they do? They they fun they build into a funnel. Yes. When you get to that order page, what's that order page? It's nothing but a certificate. So yes. We can, and not only that, we can partner with other companies like that. So we're looking for good partners that if you got a skill in, in helping people market and sell their stuff, whether that's copywriting or graphic design or ad buying or, you know, managing the whole process or funnel building or, you know, any of those different skills, contact us, join the network, because I don't have time to build all that out myself. <laughs> I'm going to partner with other people. That's where the value comes is in partnering and trading those certificates. We'll help you create certificates for your product, for your process, and then trade those amongst our network. And then not only that, but we can help you take your idea, that first sheet of paper, your story idea, and help you repackage that in a bunch of different ways that I just talked about, as well as who are we going to turn this into? Who are we going to target with this? Now you got three basic people that you want to target. There's the consumer, the person that's going to get, take whatever product you are, and they're actually going to use it. They're the ones 
and take your certificate and immediately redeem it. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that are actually going to be using whatever it is that you're putting out there. Right. Okay. Then there's what I call the parents of those people. Maybe it's not the actual user. Maybe it's the employer. But the person who's paying for somebody else to use it, buying it on behalf of somebody else, and they're using it. So corporations will do this. They'll buy tools. They'll buy uh, software. They'll buy training programs. They'll buy information. They'll buy. They're not the user of it. Right. The purchasing manager is not the user. <laughs> purchasing officer is the buyer. Who's the user? They're buying it for the engineer to use. They're buying it for the person, you know, the actual employee to use. Right. So the employees, the consumer, the customer, or the 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 company is the is the parent and they're going to be more important they're going to be paying and willing to pay a lot more than the consumer will but they're not going to pay as much as the grandparents right if you're selling a toy you sell the toy to the kid and the kid gets all excited and they want the toy but they're not the one buying it they're not the one paying for it you try to sell it to the parent and the parents juggling all these other bills that they got to pay for. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure they're going to spend the extra money to get this piece of plastic for the kid. Maybe if a birthday's coming up or Christmas or something like that, maybe not. So who do you go to? The grandparents. <laughs> Why? Because the grandparents have money <laughs> that they're willing to spend and they want to spend it on the kid. So they'll buy the stuff that the parents don't. And why do they buy? They're not really buying the plastic. They don't care about the plastic. They're buying relevance into the kid's life. So every time the kid plays with it, they're going to want to think of the grandparents and say, thank you. Mm -hmm. That's what the grandparents are paying. Now, in business, again, we have the consumer, the person that's actually using it. You got the corporation that may be buying them in bulk and giving them to their consumers to use. And then you got the grandparents. Well, who's the grandparents? These are sponsors, these are advertisers, this is the government, these are insurance companies. These are companies that are paying the bill, they're buying it. They're not consuming it themselves, but they're buying relevance into the company. They're buying relevance into the lives of the people that are there. They're buying advertising, why? Not because they, they're, you know, they're like, if I'm buying advertising here, it's not you, Stacy, that I'm trying to sell stuff to. Mm -hmm. it's not you that I'm trying to get my message to. I mean, that's great that you're hearing the message, but who is it? It's your audience. Right. Right. It's the people that you influence that I want to be able to get my message, my, my words out to those people. So sponsors, advertisers, they'll pay a lot more than the consumer will for the same thing. Right. You know, the government will pay. Why? Because they're buying votes. They're buying relevance. See, we did something <laughs> to solve whatever this problem was. Mm -hmm. They're not the consumers themselves, mm -hmm. but they're going to buy it and they're going to give it to the consumers and then they're going to try and act like the heroes. And right. They may be the hero. I'm not saying they're not, but they may be. I'm just saying this is what they're actually buying. They're buying the votes. They're buying the relevance. They're buying the, the we're the heroes so people want to continue supporting them. And the government's not known for being super cheap. Right. They spend lots of money on stuff that people are like, why are you overspending? And grandparents, they overspend on stuff. Right. Or insurance companies. You ever notice that the drug companies, they're not advertising. They advertise the pill to the consumer on the TV. And then what do they always say? What do they say? They always say, ask your doctor right yes they don't they do. tell the consumer to go buy it over the counter unless it's you know like aspirin or something most of the time these all these big drug companies they say ask your doctor so in this case the doctor's the parent mm -hmm. but is the doctor paying for it no mm -hmm. the doctor's prescribing it who's paying the insurance companies mm -hmm. the grandparents mm -hmm. the insurance companies aren't the ones consuming it they're not taking the pills the doctors aren't consuming it. They're not taking the pills. 
but the consumer is not paying for it. The insurance company is. Right. And insurance companies are known for paying way lots of money. They may try to cut down on prices and whatever, but at the end of the day, they're actually paying exorbitant amounts of money for these drugs that the smart pharmaceutical companies are advertising to create the desire amongst the consumer. So they ask the parents, i.e. the doctors, so that the insurance companies, i.e. the grandparents will pay for it. Right. So for your own business, you got those three kinds of people. You got the consumer, you got the the parent or company, and you got the, the third party government insurance company, grandparent, somebody like that that's actually paying right. and buys them in, in massive bulk. Right. Same thing with your certificates. You create a certificate, you solve that problem. Your initial thought may be, hey, I'm gonna go sell it to the consumers. And you know, great. But you want to make more money, sell it to the parent. Right. You make even more money, sell it to the grandparent. Sponsors, advertisers. In fact, here's a here's one that'll that'll blow people's mind. <laughs> you can take and buy something at full retail, sell it for a deep discount or give it away for free, and make more profits than the person that actually sold it to you at full retail. Mm-hmm. True. Do you know how? How? One way you can do it is if you collect all those people's contact information and then sell sponsors and advertisers access to those people. Mm-hmm. You don't have to sell the actual information. Right. You still be the middleman and the person in between passing their message along. So you keep confidentiality. Mm-hmm. But how many sponsors and advertisers can you get versus how many want consumers? Right. Right. You look at a magazine. That's the whole point of, to a magazine. Yes, they have articles. They have they have good things in there that, you know, information that consumers, i.e. their subscribers want, their audience wants. Right. But where do they really make their money? Not off the subscriptions. They're really making their money off of the sponsors and advertisers. Right because they can get a lot more sponsors and advertisers than they can. So if you buy a product at full retail, Mm -hmm. sell it at a discount or give it away for free so that you get the wide distribution and then sell the access to those people, to sponsors and advertisers, a whole bunch of them. Again, you can make a lot more money in profit than the, than the person selling you that product for. Very true. So if you want to create these certificates over and over again, to be able to give them away to people and be able to sell them to people and be able to print your own money and, and do that, and you want to join the network for doing that, just text your name, tell me you're in, and we'll send you the application so that you can join the network and have an instant group of people that are already market for your certificates that you're creating any other questions well that sounds amazing you know when you say a network do you also have like a a a a group or a page or any type of physical network that people can interact with or you're working on that or is it not yet up together as we speak so we will have one of those shortly that people can go there and as it grows then you'll see different different incarnations of that excellent Um, we'll have We'll have targets for four different kinds of people. Uh, The first one will be the consumers, people that, Mm -hmm. you know, are just looking for how can I create my certificates and get them sold. Right. Second one will be service providers. You know, again, we talked about those marketers, people that say, hey, I got this service. I want more clients. I want good top of the line clients. Mm -hmm. They create their own certificates. Uh, We help them do that. They join our network so they can provide them to the other consumers. Yes. We'll have financiers. If you got money and you want to invest money and you want to start seeing a bigger, faster return, the first two people need a bridge, bridge financing. Right. Because it costs money, it costs a bit to get all that infrastructure in place to be able to sell the product, to sell the, the idea. So if you're a financier and you're looking for some some good, fast money or and long-term money, because you could get a percentage of every product sold. Right. That you're helping to finance. 
we're looking for those people too to be part of the network. And then the fourth one is those sponsors and advertisers. You got your message. You want to get out to other people. You want to get out to this select group of people. Yes. We got those people. And that's what we're putting together. So yeah, you'll start seeing more of the physical. And right now I don't want to sit here and say here, you know, try the, if you're this person, sign up here. If you're that person, I'd rather say, just join the network. And then you can sort yourself into one of those four categories. And not only that, but you may decide that you want to be in more than one. Right. You know, and it's okay. And you'll find that that same, go back to those those three sheets of paper again, that same story, that same information, repackaged and repurposed and resold, can be sold to the same person multiple times at different price points. Right. How much do you buy a book for? Is it the same you go spend the money for a course? Same information that's in the course and in the book. Right. And then how much are you going to spend on going to a three-day seminar about that? Mm -hmm. Or how much are you going to spend to go to a mastermind? Same exact information. We're not changing the information. We're changing how it's delivered. We may be changing some of the support, some of the accountability, some of the some of the making sure that you get the results that you want. You go buy a book for 20 bucks. There's no accountability there. Nobody's going to make sure that you get the results. Mm -hmm. You spend the money to be involved in a high-end mastermind, or you spend the money to go to a three-day seminar, or you spend the money for a consult high-end consulting package. Someone's going to be making sure you get the results that you want to, that you're really looking for. Right. Right. So it's the same information, just how it's presented. Same way you go to a, you know, you go to a grocery store and you can buy a soda pop or a Coke for one price. You go to a, you know, vending machine, you can buy it for a different price. Same exact liquid, maybe even same can, <laughs> same packaging. Just change the context. How much you're going to spend if you go to a restaurant? Right. How much you're going to spend if you go to uh, a ball game? Mm -hmm. Same exact liquid. Same exact can, but if the if the guy's got to carry it around in his tray and hock it to you at the ball game, he's going to charge you a lot more than if you went to the supermarket and bought it. Right. This is so amazing advice. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, finish what you were saying. I was just going to say, so it goes back to those same three sheets of paper or the product itself, just different contexts, different people, different prices. And again, our network is here to help you get the most out of what you've got. So you might start with targeting this group and then we say, hey, have you thought about leveling it up to the parents or the grandparents or putting it in this other context or doing this? And then, oh, wow, hey, I didn't realize it was that valuable. Yeah, well, other people do. Right. I like it. Now, if you had to give the the, the uh, listeners a couple of takeaways from everything that we discussed, because we discussed a lot of things, what would be like three things you really want them to remember and, and take away with this podcast? Takeaway number one, join the network. <laughs> I know that sounds a bit self-serving, but it's really to help you because that's the way you're going to get the deeper information. That's the way you're going to get those partnerships that get you those results. Right. That you're really looking for. Takeaway number two, start just looking for those certificates. Right. Start looking for those stories that people are telling you and how they solve the problems. Because the more you activate your reticular activation system and you start looking for that and you start seeing it and you start seeing it through those eyes. Yeah. Then the easier it is to create for yourself. So that third one is take some time. Take three sheets of paper, jot down their story. Doesn't have to be super long and involved. Just, hey, here's the problem. Here's what I did to solve it. Here's the name I gave it. Here's what difference it makes in your life. Right. And then you take that and you create a certificate about it. And it can be something simple of, you know, hey, I will help you get this result in exchange for blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is you want to exchange it. Or just, I'll help you get this result. 
And then you take that certificate and you go trade it with other people mm -hmm. and you see what they're willing to give in exchange for it or how you need to tweak that result or how you need to tweak that presentation in order to up level the value of it. Right. And then just jot down, here's who I traded with. And then send out the invitation. So those four things, three sheets of paper, one text message. I like it. I like it a lot. This has been very informative. I think what you have is really a great idea. I think it's very productive. And like we mentioned earlier, I think it's very unique. So I think it's definitely something that the audience should really take in consideration. Uh, I really like how you go about it. I like your technique. I think it's very valuable if it's implemented the proper way. And I think it's a great marketing tool. I think it can go a long way and help a lot of people. It's definitely something to look into. Now, do you have a website or just use the text? And that's the, probably the best way to get started with you. Just use the text or you can go to expandovision.com. But what you'll find there will be a little different than what I've talked about today. As we'll be revamping that and, you know, making it much more. Here's the network that we're building and what we're planning to do with it. But yeah, we took we took what we've what we created and we simplified it down into those three sheets and a text text message. I love it. I love it. This has been wonderful. You know, thank you so much for coming on the show and sharing this information. And I think this marketing tool has great potential and it can help people really grow their businesses. And I think this is a great tool. And I thank you so much for coming on the show to share with everybody, because a lot of times people have great businesses, but they don't have great marketing tools to, and they don't know how to properly market the business. And this could be actually something they can implement to their business to help it grow. So thank you so much for coming on the show and sharing your service, because I think it could be very valuable for lots of people and they should probably give you a call and I'll give you a text to find out more about it. Yeah. Well, thank you for having me. It's been fun. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you so much for coming on the show. This has been wonderful. I really enjoyed everything you had to say and I love your, your marketing techniques. It's very, very unique and it, it really can be very beneficial. Thank you so much. Yep, you're welcome. Have a great day. You too.